Punk RC dual steering computer. What this dual steering computer does is it gives you three steering modes. The first one is four wheel steering with both servos moving in the opposite directions. Rear lockout with the front servo moving only. And then crab walk steering with both servos moving in the same direction. And um, these modes are switchable with a spare channel on your transmitter. Installation is a snap on this guy. First of all, what you'll need is a three channel receiver at least with your speed controller plugged into your normal channel 2, which is what it usually is. You then take the top plug of the dual steering computer, plug that into your channel 1, which is normally your front wheel steering. You then take the bottom female plug and you plug that into your spare channel, which is usually channel 3 and that is how you install it in your receiver. Now when you're left you still have your two male plugs and these are what your servos plug into. And it's pretty easy rule on it. Basically the top wire um, on your unit will plug into the front servo shown here and then the bottom wire will take this and this one plugs into your rear servo as shown here on the left. That's installation. Now there's some calibration we need to do. First of all, on your transmitter, you need to trim it to zero. If you're not trimmed to zero, the mode light will blink. So let's just trim it out. And this is to help keep your rear servo wiggle um, at zero when you're changing modes. And we'll explain that in a minute. Um, first, just test the servos, make sure they work. Um, basically when your switch is centered you should have just one servo moving when you're down you should have them both moving in opposite directions and when it's up um, you should have them moving in the same directions now down and up it, it's all relative okay calibration um, next thing you do if you need to trim your servos this is actually done on the unit itself um, the potentiometer next to the red light does your your front servo and the uh, trim pot on the opposite side does your back servo. So do your major adjustments here. If you're driving and you need to do a minor adjustment, feel free to do that on your transmitter. Okay. If you do have an untrimmed radio and it's severely untrimmed, first of all, notice the light is blinking, but as you change modes, the rear wheels will wiggle. And if you can see that where it's basically reflecting around the wrong point. So just, it, it works best if you have it trimmed out to zero and you eliminate that. Okay, if you happen to be missing a signal, either your transmitter gets turned off, um, it will blink, all three mode lights will blink. And so if you get that, make sure your transmitter's on. Also make sure all your wires are hooked up because the same thing will happen if you pull one of the two wires to the, tran the, to the receiver. And so if you're getting that, you're not plugged in. Or your transmitter's not getting signal. Okay, if you want to change the mode order of where um, dual st uh, crab walk steering and rear lockout is, um, normally rear lockout is in the center, but if you only have a two position switch or you want to change the positions, there's a small switch on the unit. Just switch that toward the um, receiver cables going to the receiver and now that puts crab walk steering mode as the middle mode and so for stock TQ3 you can only access the non-center mode 